Polish government says that at the moment some 4,000 migrants are currently massing in that area near Kuznicka uh, at the Polish-Belarus border. Uh, this morning, I should say, the Polish Prime Minister and the Defence Minister have visited the area. There has been video that's circulating, not independently verified as yet, that appears to show quite uh, loudly gunfire in that border area. As I say, it's not been independently verified as to whether that uh, uh, was from the Belarusian side or indeed from the Polish side. But uh, all uh, through this, as I say, the uh, Belarusian government are being accused of manufacturing this crisis, of effectively inviting migrants to take uh, visas, come over to Belarus as a way of getting a, an easy uh, trip down to and into the European Union. It's been going on rumbling at low level really for the last few months, but it really has come to a head now as the Polish government has decided it's had enough. It's fortified its borders. It's passed laws empowering those troops on the border to refuse entry to anyone at the border claiming asylum or not, uh, and to push them back over the border towards Belarus. But, of course, what is happening is that the Belarusian military, apparently having uh, shepherded these people down from the capital Minsk towards the Polish border, are themselves, we're told, pushing them through the border fence on their side into this kind of no-man's land, a wooded area uh, between the two borders. Uh, they're not being allowed to cross into Poland, uh, but the Belarusian uh, military are not allowing them to cross back into Belarus either. So they're stuck in the middle and the numbers are growing because although they're not allowing people to come back into Belarus, they are, we're told, continuing to funnel people in en masse into this area. Does the Belarusian state have to gain from inviting all of these migrants into their country, only then to push them on? Is this simply to antagonise Europe, to antagonise Poland, countries that it's found itself against in recent years? Absolutely. What uh, the European Union, uh, NATO, is also saying that uh, this is Alexander Lukashenko, the autocrat in charge of Belarus, uh, getting his revenge for those sanctions imposed by the European Union, by the UK and by the US following the disputed elections last year and his brutal crackdown on oppo opposition figures and protests in that country. Um, so what the European Union is claiming and others are claiming is that he is facilitating flights into Belarus with a view to pushing as many migrants down towards the border as possible to destabilise in particular these EU countries on the border with Belarus. And we're talking about Lithuania, Latvia and, of course, Poland. Lithuania has seen some 4,000 migrants in recent weeks cross the border into their country. They are now reinforcing their border with extra troops. Latvia, to a lesser extent, Extent, but Poland is now bearing the brunt of it. Uh, they say uh, that thousands have already crossed into their country, but they are not going to allow any more uh, to cross, and they are fortifying, as I say, that border area which the Prime Minister and the Defence Minister visited this morning.